if you know what U.S. is doing in the world, you can understand what's happening in a lot of regions because because of U.S. presence all across the world. And uh, before even Trump became U.S. president, during the election campaign, there was a uh, study done in the United States. Uh, who votes for Donald Trump? Before he was before before he was elected, and uh, out of various factors, you know, age, gender, uh, essentially education level, and so on, uh, the best one of the best predictors for support to Donald Trump was uh, whether the person is leaning towards authoritarianism. And uh, another thing that was very important in this survey uh, was uh, people uh, who uh, felt that uh, the world is uncertain and chaotic and, and dangerous. Uh, you know, the immigrants are coming, terrorists are coming, uh, there's chaos, uh, there's crime on the rise, and, and, and so on. These people are drawn to authoritarian tendencies. And so essentially, if the terrorists are coming, we need someone to save us. Yeah. If the crime is on rise, we need someone to save us. And uh, this is what Donald Trump used in his election campaign. He has used this throughout his uh, presidency, internal enemies, external enemies. So internal enemies, crime is on the rise, African-Americans are protesting, external enemies, terrorists, immigrants, uh, NATO as well, for example, yeah. this external external organization stealing, uh, cheating the United States. So he's tried to uh, paint the world in, uh, in, in as, as dark and, and, and kind of dangerous and problematic colors as possible to get um, actually Republicans afraid, to get Republicans want this macho authoritarian figure, Donald Trump, mm -hmm. Uh, essentially to, to, to kind, of, kind of paint the world as bad as possible, to get more support from his uh, uh, essentially uh, supporters, Republican Party. Uh, and in that sense, this is a very, very ruthless, very cynical, very, very horrible, but a very pragmatic and very smart strategy that he's been using. So if you look at Republicans over the last four years, 40% uh, of U.S. population, uh, almost all the Republicans, have been supportive of Donald Trump no matter what he says. Uh, he has effectively taken over the Republican Party, Republican uh, congressmen uh, who criticized uh, him uh, during his election campaign, almost uh, well, all of them, most of them are pro-Trump in his camp at the moment. Uh, he has definitely t well, taken the central role in the um, Republican Party and in U.S. politics. Um, Trump is going to still play a big role in the Republican Party over the next years. Uh, so he has uh, well, effectively taken over uh, this political party. Um, essentially, he's created a personality cult uh, and all these things that I'm saying, these are achievements for Donald Trump. These are horrible for democracy, horrible for the United States, and also horrible for the rest of the world.